What's up, poker people? My name's Wes, and this is my poker vlog. I've got a surprise for you guys today. We're on a road trip. I'm headed to Choctaw Casino in Durant, Oklahoma, which is about an hour north of Dallas, Texas. They're hosting the World Series of Poker Circuit events for the next two weeks, and I will be there for an entire week, and I'm going to vlog everything. Check out the view. Gorgeous. Whenever I come to a casino, the first night I don't play any poker. I just relax, have a nice meal, and get ready for tomorrow. Tonight, I'm having steak. Okay, today's day one, World Series of Poker Shock Doll. Today's event is a 200K guarantee, $400 buy-in, monster tax, so we should have 30,000 in chips. I got 10 hours of sleep last night. I'm feeling amazing. It's gonna be a long day, but I'm ready. Let's go. Well, I busted my first buy-in. We start with 30,000 in chips, and I lost about half my stack on this hand. I had deuces limped in after another limper. The small blind raises to 700, so we limped in for 200, makes it only 700. The under the gun limper calls, I call. Flop is ace four deuce, rainbow. The raiser checks, the next guy bets 1500. I call 1500 and the raiser folds. Turn is a queen, so it's ace four deuce queen. We have pocket deuces. He checks and I bet 3500 and he calls. The river was a five, which is one of the cards I didn't want to see. I knew he was going to lead out, and sure enough, he leads out for 7,000. But I'm not really folding sets in these rebuy tournaments, so I ended up calling, and he shows ace three for a backdoor flush, which I actually didn't notice was there. But he had the three, like I suspected, and he made it straight. Um, so I lost about half my stack and just folded for a while. So I raised ace seven of hearts over two limpers, both blinds and the limpers call. Flop comes 7, 10, 4 with 10, 4 of diamonds. They check to me, so I see bet, and I get min check raise by the small blind. I decide to go ahead and call because I don't really believe that he has a strong hand doing this. He's definitely got a draw, maybe a pair and a draw. And as long as the turn breaks out, I'm probably just going to go with this. I only have 7,000 behind. The turn was a brick. It comes a 5 of clubs, so now it's 10, 4, 5, 7. He ends up going all in on the turn. And I end up calling, and he has king six of diamonds. And the river is, sorry, he had king five of diamonds. The river was a six of diamonds. And he makes a king high flush. So now we're out a couple minutes before break, and I'm going to go ahead and rebuy, re enter into this tournament during the break, and we'll have a fresh new 30,000 30, stack. I don't know if it's true of every monster stack, but all the monster stacks I've ever played, people just play bigger pots play crazier hands and they guess they feel like they have more chips to gamble it up with. They don't really play small ball at all, they just play everything big and everyone busts just as quickly as they do in a normal stack tournament. Maybe it's just here at Choctaw, but that's what I see. Well, I busted Queens versus Ace King on second buy-in. I'm gonna do one more buy-in for today. Being that it's a monster stack, I'm a little more likely to rebuy later in the day so that you do get a better stack. If this were a normal tournament, I'd probably just call it quits for today and start again tomorrow, but being this a monster stack, I think I'm gonna go ahead and take one more shot. Okay, I made it to dinner break. We start with 30,000 in chips on my third buy-in, and I have 103,000 on dinner break, so I'm pretty happy. The last few levels, I think I only played about three levels on that buy-in, but it went pretty well. I got pretty lucky, ran it up, so got a pretty good stack now. We just finished the 800, 1600 level, 
So we're going to 1,000, 2,000. So I have 50 big blinds, a good stack, but you know, not a huge stack, but a pretty comfortable stack and hoping to run it up. We're gonna play tonight all the way through 5%. So we'll be in the money at 15%. Play all the way through 5% before we bag up. So hopefully we're still in at the end of the night. No, I actually just lost 65K to a guy. This is my friend, Dan. Dan was a poker dealer from Houston who recently moved to Vegas to play poker full time. Dan had a lot of success in 2018 at Choctaw and is looking to hit a big score. In a fashion that I never, ever, ever lose chips, but I went with a read on a short stack that goes 32 min rays from like under the gun. Call. I call on the button with uh, sixes. And the small blind squeezes to 13K. Decent size, a little small, but he only had like 50K behind. And they all fold. So I'm like, I got dead many in the pot. I know I only got sixes, but I am in position. There's some flops. I'm still gonna find a way to take this away from him. And he's only got 50K left, so he's gonna be a little more desperate. And if I hit it, I'm definitely gonna probably get paid. I was like, whatever. So I threw in the ticket, and I'm sitting on like 190 at the time. Flop comes King 10 4. My first thought was that hits like everything he was gonna play. He's probably because he's short stack gonna size down here. And if he does, I'm just gonna pitch my hand. He sized up. <laughs> he bet 20K into like basically a 30K pot. Now, I didn't notice he only had 50. I thought he had a little bit more than that because I effectively main race jammed him. And he did not snap call. And he ended up calling it. He had aces. <laughs> so we're on the first break after dinner. And I really ran it up during the last four levels. Had 100,000 on dinner break. And now I have 420,000. Average is 160,000. So I'm way above average. I did just get moved to a new table where everyone's making it four and five X even more pre-flop, a bunch of older players to be specific. So I'm kind of being careful, I'm not gonna be too crazy, not gonna be able to call too light pre-flop with them making it so big, but I'm just gonna keep grinding. I'm pretty happy with my stack, so let's see what happens. So in that last level, I lost a bunch of hands that didn't seem very important at the time. Then I lost a big flip, Jack versus Ace King, and I got kings all in against aces to bust in 32nd place for a small payout. The same tournament's running again tomorrow, and I'm gonna buy in and try to do the same thing all over again. All right, it's flight B of the $400, 200K guarantee World Series circuit event. This is our second day right, trying to make a bag. Your table. Dealers are coming back with a 200 small blind, 300 big blind, with a 300 big blind A. Two, three, and three, shuffle up and deal. All right, today's flight B. We min cash yesterday, but didn't bag. So we're gonna try to put chips in the bag today. Wish me luck. So I just busted my first bullet. Interesting hand, I got kind of short. Had queen, jack, and diamonds in the big blind after a few limpers, and I just checked my option. Flop came queen, eight, 10, with one diamond. I decided to check raise this hand, and I ended up getting two callers. So I have top pair, gut shot, back door, flush shot, turn as a jack. So there's two clubs in the flop, the jack is a club. Gives me two pair, but it's not a good card, right? So basically, I was short enough. I had check raised to 4,000 with 8,000 behind. I just had to go with this hand no matter what the turn card was. And I shove into a straight and a flush, and now I'm out. Gonna rebuy, try it all over again. Okay, funny story. Uh, a guy makes a full house, pocket deuces, ace, king, deuce, ace, something board. Uh, his opponent's been betting into him that bets 3,500, we're at the 600 big blind level. That's 3,500 on the river, and the guy takes like 45 seconds to call with full house, so the whole table kind of gives him a little bit about it after the hand taking so long. Very next hand, he limps in for 600. There's two other limpers. I have 9,000 on the button, I just ripped it in. Assuming I'm gonna pit take all this money, I've got ace 10 offsuit. And he calls 9,000 with pocket sixes pre-flop, but he took 45 seconds to call a 3500 with a full house the hand previous. I just thought it was funny, but at the same time, I'm out and I'm gonna rebuy one last time, see if I can run it up. So I buy back in, get 30,000 in chips, sit down and immediately play King 10 suited to a raise. The guy made it 2500 at the 400, 800 level. I call, thought comes King 8, 4, two diamonds. The guy C bets 10,000. I only started with 30,000. I call this bet, there's gonna be more in the pot than I even have in my stack on the turn. So I have to make a decision. I'm either just gonna fold top pair or I'm gonna go with it. And I decided to go with it. Folds around to the pre-flop raiser who snap calls with ace king and runs out clean and I'm out. I think that's it for today. It just wasn't in the cards today. 
It's a new day of poker tournaments. We have a new tournament today. It's a double stack tournament, basically the same as the monster stack, except for the blinds don't increase to 45 minutes. We'll be starting with 30,000 in chips. I'm running a little bit late today, but I'm feeling good. I'm gonna get in there. So I was grinding away with my 30 big blind stack. Ended up with Jackson in the big blind with a raise and a call. I three bet to about a third of my stack. The original raiser decides to shove for about 30 big blinds, I call. I've got Jax, he has king eight suited. King on the flop and I'm out. Gonna rebuy and try it all over again. So I rebought and on the third bullet, very first hand, four way raise pot, I'm in the blinds, I have Jack nine. I flop an open ender and I get a chance to get it all in with an open ender against two other players, I'm trying to get a big stack right out of the gates. We get a three way all in and it's set of a set for them. I don't improve, but top set does make quads and I'm out and I think I'm done for today. Oh, I got a stupid hand. This is my friend Mike. Mike is a poker dealer and player from Houston. Mike doesn't get out to the circuit events as much these days as he used to. A big win might change that though. Right before the break, I decided to get cute with king, king two of spades under the gun. Oh, under the gun. <laughs> okay, well, I just won a lot of chips, just doubled up, so I have 1.3 million. I raise. 120k at the 40k big buy. 3x like a noob. Guy behind me shows for 340k. Doesn't play too many hands. But but you're halfway in there. I'm gonna, <laughs> it's my call. You have the best hand. I'm, I'm sure of it. He turns over two eights. He doubles up. <laughs> that was my monkey hand of the day. Uh -huh. Here's a recap. This is Friday morning, the fourth day of the circuit. Today's day one A of the weekend re-entry. It's gonna be two flights, one Friday and one Saturday. This is gonna be the biggest tournament to play. This is time to run it. So far, we've mostly bricked out, but I'm feeling good. I woke up early, getting breakfast. Wish me luck today. All right, the rebuy period is over. We went from 15K all the way up to 30, back down to 16K. Blinds are gonna be four, eight when we get back. Gonna have to run it up. And if not, we'll be just trying it again tomorrow. Well, I made it to dinner break. 37,000 in chips. All right, multi players. Less than five minutes on your dinner break. Well, I made it to dinner break. I have 37,000 in chips. Blinds are gonna be 1,000, 2,000. Coming back from dinner. I've just been grinding all day in a low stack, hoping something happens here at the end. And again, if not, we get to play this whole thing all over again tomorrow. Let's see what happens. First hand back from break, guy raises to 5,000. I call 5,000 with jack 10 of hearts. The big blind calls. Flop comes jack four five. Big blind checks and the pre-flop raiser just bombs it for 40,000. I just don't see how on a 20 big blind stack I can just fold top pair. So I go all in, the big blind folds, and the guy just has ace jack and I'm out of the tournament. Flight B for this tournament is tomorrow. That means I got one last shot. It is re-entry, so maybe a couple more shots to try to run it up and play for the money. Wish me luck. This is still questionable as to whether it's a good chef, but ha. This is my friend Gary. Gary is a working husband and father and doesn't get to travel much to play poker, although he has had some notable success when he does. I mean, I went with it, but at this point, I pick up king, queen under the gun plus one, I think. Well, guy two to my left, flaxed. The flop literally comes ace, king, like, oh, ace, king, five, actually. So I see that he calls, uh, turns just a brick, like a two or something. So I check, he does that, and I pile it. Uh, hey, the snap calls, the fives. So, so he felt me. All right, today's event is flight B of the $400 ring event, 200K guarantee. Started 15,000 in chips, gonna try to run it up. Just like Gary, I busted the tournament with a marginal hand. Going deep in this tournament would have been special to me as this is the tournament I won last year. With the big re-entry tournaments all being over for my trip, it's now unlikely that I'll be winning any big money. 
but there are still tournaments to play. And at 7 p.m., there's a bounty tournament that both Dan and Gary are playing, so that's an option. All right, so I bought into the 7 p.m. $400 bounty WSOP circuit ring event. And all right, well, I'll put chips in a bag for tomorrow. Day two, $400 with $100 bounty circuit event. It is a ring event, but it's only 13,000 for first place. Surprisingly, we have a lot of pros in the field just because this was the only tournament being offered. Start at 7 p.m. on a day where a lot of people busted out of the 200K guarantee. We're going in tomorrow with 81,000 in chips and the big blind is 2K starting tomorrow. So I got 40 big blinds, so a healthy stack. Uh, biggest stack is like 380,000, which is actually 10% of chips in play with 40 players left. So I feel good. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Well, I just busted in 18th place. Small cash, nothing to talk about. There was one interesting hand that I'm gonna discuss. Under the gun raises to 16,000 at the 6,000 big blind. The button calls and I'm in the small blind with king 10 suited in diamonds and I call and the big blind calls. The flop comes out 10, nine, four with two spades. We check to the razor and she continues for 18,000. The button folds, I call in the small blind and we get heads up. The turn is an eight and I decide to lead this card and I bet 25,000 and she thinks for a little bit and calls and the river is a seven. I decide to go ahead and bet and I bet 45,000 and she goes into the tank and she says, I can really only be a missed flush draw. Then she kind of recreates all the action. At first, I thought I had her. But then as she starts talking more and more, I realize pretty sure she has an over pair like queens because jacks would be a straight. And I wish I'd bet a little bit more, but eventually she does call and I lose a pretty significant pot when I had about 200,000. And after that, I just sort of Raised a few times, got three bet, folded, got myself down to 20 bigs after a few level jumps, and I shoved ace eight on the button for 83,000 at the 5k big blind, and she wakes up with ace jack in the big blind, and it's all over. So Dan ends up making the final table of the bounty tournament that I got 18th place in. Let's join the action. Dan's all in. The action is to Melissa in black. She tanks for a while. And she calls. Dan has pocket eights and Melissa has queen three suited. Flops a three. No queen, no three. Dan doubles up. After laddering up a few more spots, Dan's all in again. Three-handed, he calls. Dan flopped a pair. He's got two overs. Ah, he hits an ace on the river. Dan's out in third place for $6,000. So after busting that tournament, I bought in late to the last tournament, my last chance here. Had a 15K starting stack. Folded for maybe an orbit or two, blinds go up. Guy raises to 16,000, I make it 42,000 with ace king hearts. He calls, fuck comes 10, eight, five. Two diamonds in the club, he checks. I just rip in for- One day players, at the end of this level, we are gonna be taking your one hour dinner break. During that time, we're gonna race off and color up all the 100 chips. We can start slowly getting all the 100s to one player at each table, please. He checks and I just pile in 11,000. He tanks for over a minute, says, I just don't think you have a pair and calls with pocket threes. The turn pairs the board, the river bricks and I'm out and the rebuy period was over. 
so I am done. Here's a recap. All in all, I ended up losing 3500 on the trip, but that's poker tournaments for you. 